Hi, it's Gem from Twizzles here. You can find me at twizzles.com or search for Twizzles on Facebook. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Twizzles one year old hoodie. It's a monster design so it's pretty cute on boys or girls. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see I've got all my pattern pieces already cut out from the Twizzles pattern. Okay, so I've already cut out all my pattern pieces from the fabrics that I'm using. I'm using this yellow monster design as my alternating fabric and this blue polar fleece as my main fabric. And for the lining of the hood I'm using a green cotton jersey. So what I want you to do now is get your pocket pieces. There should be two of them, one in the plain main coloured fabric and one in the alternating fabric. Put the alternating fabric with the right side facing up onto the plain fabric and just pin it in place. Now with the sleeve pieces you should have two sleeve cuffs and the alternating fabric. And what I'm going to do with these sleeve cuffs is I'm going to overlock on the top edge of the cuff on both of them. And I'm also going to overlock my pocket piece around all the edges like this. So the overlocking thread that I'm going to use on all of the hoodie is a four thread standard overlocking stitch. And when I overlock the pocket, I want to do it just right on the edge of the fabric. I don't want to cut any of the fabric off on the overlocker because I'm going to turn the seams over later and I need that extra length. Okay, so I've overlocked my pocket all the way around the edge and my cuff piece is just on the top edge along here. So now I'm going to pin one and a half centimetres on the pocket edges where they're going to not be sewn on the hoodie, it's going to be left like that. Okay, so I've just pinned the pocket openings, the seams down so they're ready to top stitch along there and now with the sleeve cuffs I'm going to put them onto my sleeve with the main fabric. You'll put the overlocking edge on the top near the curve of the sleeve and you just fold that overlocked edge over so it's nice and neat and you don't see it and pin that to the sleeve for both sleeves. Okay, so now I've finished pinning the cuffs onto my sleeve and I've also pinned my pocket. I can go ahead and top stitch both of them. With the sleeves you want to top stitch very close to the edge of your alternating fabric so it's nice and neat. And with your pockets you'll want to top stitch closely along the opening edge as well and then also do another row 5 millimeters away from that first row so there's two rows of stitching along there or you can use twin needles if you have twin needles on your machine. So I've sewn two rows of stitching along my pocket here where the hand opening is and I've also sewn one row of top edge stitching on my sleeve cuff here. So what you'll need to do next with the sleeves is overlock along this bottom edge here, keeping really close to the edge of the fabric. You want to try not to cut any off on the overlocker. Okay, I've overlocked the bottom edge of my sleeves and I'm going to turn the seam over one and a half centimetres. I'm going to pin that down and then I'm going to top stitch two rows of stitching across the edge. Alright, before I top stitch these edges I'm going to pin together my other pattern pieces. I'm going to pin together my hood lining. Next I'm going to pin right sides together my main hood fabric. Okay. 
Okay, so I've sewn together my hood lining and also my main part of my hood. So now I'm just going to overlock both of the seams so they're nice and neat. And get your front and your pocket. Your pocket should look like this. It should be nicely stitched on the pocket sides and then overlocked along the diagonal edge and the bottom and the top. I've marked halfway point on my hoodie here on the main piece and I've also put a pin on the pocket where the halfway point of the pocket is. Now I'm going to place the pocket 2cm up from the bottom edge of the hoodie so I'll just measure that there and 2cm is there and you're going to turn the overlocked edge under And pin it in the centre two centimetres up from the bottom edge. Okay, so I pinned the bottom edge on here with the seam, the overlocked seam of the pocket tucked under. When I get to the diagonal edges, I'm going to do the same as what I did down the bottom here. I'm going to fold the edges under like that and place a pin in there and do that for both sides okay so I've done that for both sides and now I'm also going to do it for the top edge of my pocket as well so fold it under and then just pin it on okay so now where we've pinned all our pocket on I'm going to top stitch that in just a single row of stitching Okay, so I've sewn on my pocket with the top stitch and it's all nice and neat. I'm going to put that to the side. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stitch on the pupils to the eyeballs. And I'm also going to stitch my teeth together. So you should have five teeth, two curved teeth and three triangle shaped teeth. So I'm just going to pin them with one pin just to hold them in place and then I'm going to stitch them together and then turn them inside out the right way. Now that I've sewn my two pieces of the teeth together, I'm going to clip the edges close to where the stitching is so it's only about three to four mil away from the stitching and then I'm also going to clip the points of the teeth right down to where that point of the stitching is just so there's not so much bulk when I turn it the right way. Once I've done that I'll turn them the right way like this and then they're ready to be put in the hoodie. I'm going to pin the eyes onto my hood now. Um, the smaller one should go in the centre and the two larger ones on the outer sides. I just arrange them by eye. I put the centre one on the centre seam and then the two side ones I'll just arrange by eye. I don't measure it out. Make sure when you're pinning it though and before you sew that you've left enough space here because you're going to have to sew your hood lining here and you'll need your one and a half centimetre seam. So go ahead and pin them on. And they're pinned on and when you go to stitch these on I use a zigzag stitch to applique them on. Next you'll need to pin together your sleeve. Your sleeve should look like this and you fold it over to look like this one. Pin it together, do the same for both and then you're going to stitch them together and then overlock the edges. And you also want to pin together your main part of your hoodie, so the front and the back of your hoodie. That's my front there with the pocket and I put my back on top. You're going to pin together the side seams along here. You're also going to pin together the top edge along here and stitch them both and overlock them both.
Okay, so I've sewn on my eyeballs and I've stitched together my sleeves and overlocked the hem and I've also stitched together the front and the back of my hood and overlocked all the seams. So now it's time to insert the teeth into the hood. You should have two curved teeth and three pointed teeth. I just do this by eye but you can measure it out. You put the curved teeth pointing inwards towards the hood on the edge of the seam. I do it near the eyes here. And then you insert the three pointed teeth. I do one in the middle and two on either side. And now you're going to pin the hood lining to the main part of the hood. So this is my hood lining. This is my opening of the hood here where my, the head will go. And you want to place the right side of the lining to the right side of the hood. So pin that together. So I've stitched my hood and my hood lining together and I've overlocked the seam. Now you need to turn it the right way. And it should look like that. Now I'm going to do a neat top stitch edging along here. Once I've done that, I'm going to pin my hood to my jack main piece of my jacket. So to pin the sleeves to the hoodie, this is my hoodie here, you open it out to the side seam, you get your sleeve piece, get your side seam at the top here, fold it like that and match the seams and then pin all the way around the edge for both sleeves. When you're sewing the upper sleeve, you'll need to ease in the sleeve to the bodice part, as you usually would with any sleeve. So I'll go ahead and sew the sleeves on. I'll then stitch my hood. So I've pushed my sleeve in to the garment. And I'm using the free arm on my sewing machine so I can put the sleeve around the sewing machine like this and then stitch my seams for both of the sleeves. Okay, so my sleeves are inserted now and the hoodie is inside out. I've marked the middle of the neckline on the front and the back with just a pin so go ahead and mark that and then now I'm going to turn the hoodie the right way. So once you've turned the hoodie the right way you're going to attach the hood. The hood's the right way out. I'm going to put the right side of my fabric to the right side of the hoodie. I'll start at the back in the centre centre. I'll match the back centre seam to the hood and pin it on. Now when I get to the front centre my hood's going to overlap slightly to where the centre point is on the front of the hoodie which is fine and it looks nice and neat if you do overlap it. So I'll go ahead and stitch that on and then overlock that, but before I do, I'm going to finish the bottom edge seam. So to, to, to do that, I fold it over, and just pin along, and then I'll add stitching in a minute. Now I've pinned my bottom seam, 
when you're stitching on your machine you want to stitch very close to this bottom edge here and don't catch the pocket in your seam Thanks for watching how to make the Twizzles monster hoodie. It should now look like this. You can find Twizzles on Facebook or on Etsy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys, bye!